So, Austin, how about those NBA awards? I got my money on LeBron. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Martha Sanders joins us now with a look at MTT Sports. All right, thanks. As the NBA playoffs continues on, regular season awards are being handed out. And the first award that was announced was the Sixth Man of the Year. Someone queued up that Drake as the Sixth Man of the Year went to Toronto Raptors guard Lou Williams. Williams averaged 15.5 points per game and shot 40% from the field and is also the very first Raptor to win the award. Another award that was given this week was the Coach of the Year Award. And the winner was Ricky Head Coach Mike Budenholzer of the Atlanta Hawks. Budenholzer led the Hawks to a 60-22 and 22 record, which was best in the Eastern Conference, including a league-best 19-game winning streak. Budenholzer is the second coach to receive this award in his first season at the position. Well, the NFL draft is just over a week away, but first, what teams will be playing against each other this upcoming season? The NFL released its 2015 regular season schedule yesterday, and there are some very intriguing matchups this year. The regular season kicks off with the defending champion New England Patriots taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers Thursday night, September 10th at Gillette Stadium. Sunday night's game features two division rivals as the New York Giants battle the Dallas Cowboys. And the Monday night doubleheader features the new look Philadelphia Eagles against the Atlanta Falcons and the Minnesota Vikings versus the San Francisco 49ers. But of course, we can't forget about our Tennessee Titans. So here's a look at their schedule for the upcoming season. Week one starts off with the Titans traveling to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers, followed with an early week four bye and a week 11 Thursday night matchup against AFC South rival Jacksonville Jaguars. To see your favorite team schedule, check out NFL.com. Speaking of the Titans, Austin Nelson is back at the desk to tell you guys what they should do with the second overall pick in this year's draft. Back to you, Austin. 